أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وقجل فرجهم آج تھوڑا سا انشاءاللہ پروفیشنلی بات کریں گے ٹوڈے وی ویل ڈسکس پروفیشنلی ون اور ٹو ڈیزیزز آف ہارسز لٹل بٹ اباؤٹ دا ڈیزیزز آف دی ہارسز سو دیر آر مینی انٹرنل پیراسائٹس ان ہارسز وچ کاز ڈیفرنٹ problems in the health of the horses first of all I will enlist all those and then we'll discuss little bit about one or two parasitic problems number one strong guides and strong guides include strongulus vulgaris strongulus edentatus Next is Trichonema species, or Ascaris equorum, Strongyloids, Vesteri. Next is Oxyuris equi. These are the parasites, internal parasites present in the horses, causing parasitic diseases in equines, in horses especially. And you know that horses are very important in different countries performing different functions. Next internal parasite present in the horses is Oxyuris equi. Next is Tictiocallus ornfieldi, Anoplocephala perfoliota, and next is. Globidium leucarti and number next is actually number nine is Echinococcus granulosus Echinococcus granulosus very important number ten is Fasciola hepatica Fasciola hepatica you know as the name indicates this parasite is present in the liver destroys the liver cells, hepatocytes. Uh, we will discuss bit little bit about this fasciola hepatica. Number 11 internal parasite present in the horses is gastrophilus intestinalis. Gastrophilus intestinalis. So far as the fasciola hepatica is concerned, experimental infection of the horses indicates a profound resistance to the infection. Clinical signs, clinical disease is unusual, but the following signs have been reported in the horses when fasciola hepatica is present in the liver of the horse then following clinical signs will appear number one weight loss number two increased appetite number three lethargy number four poor performance weight loss, increased appetite, lethargy and poor performance. When all these four clinical signs appear, then we must think about the internal parasitic problem and especially we must think about the fasciola hepatica. And confirmatory diagnosis can be made through the demonstration of ova in the feces. When we see ova or egg, eggs in the feces of the horse under microscope, then it will confirm that the 
horse is suffering from fasciola hepatica parasite treatment is very simple we are discussing little bit about this disease not going into detail treatment is very simple oxyclozenide should be given at the rate of 15 ml per 50 kg body weight in other words we can say that 30 ml per 100 kg body weight or 45 ml per 150 kg body weight and 60 ml per 200 kg body weight and uh, if the weight of the horse is uh, more than this and surely it sh it should be more than this then maximum maximum of 100 ml of oxyclozenide may be given not more than that or 10% weight by volume triclabendazole triclabendazole at 12 mg per kg body weight should be given so very important in fasciola hepatica when we see when we confirm when we are confirmed about the this parasitic problem when we see the ova in the feces then we should go for oxyclozenide treatment and dose rate is very important 15 ml per 50 kg body weight 30 ml per 100 kg body weight 60 ml per 200 kg body weight next internal parasitic problem present in the horses is gastrophilus intestinalis life cycle of gastrophilus intestinalis is very important we should know about this because when we know the life cycle of this gastrophilus intestinalis then we will be able to destroy this parasit parasite and we will be able to control this parasitic problem in the horses so life cycle adult flies are active in july to september adult flies are active in july to september this is the month of september when we are making this video we are in the month of september so this may be the season of this fly so we must control this problem adult flies are active in this season july to september they actually deposit the yellow or orange eggs typically on the legs but also the lower abdomen and shoulders they deposit adult flies they deposit they lay eggs mostly on the legs and rarely on lower abdomen and shoulders and color of the eggs is yellow or orange eggs hatch after one week in response to licking and biting by the horse and when eggs hatch they became they become larvae and they enter into the mouth of the horses and migrate to the stomach very simple when eggs are laid on the horses they are licked by the other horses and when they are convert after licking they are converted they they become larvae and they migrate through mouth to the stomach of the horse and after about 10 days sorry after about 10 months the larvae pass out the feces after about 10 months larvae pass out with the feces and then they become pupa they pupate on the soil before hatching they pupate on the soil before hatching as adult fly in 3 to 5 weeks bots are thought to be of little clinical importance but the adult flies annoy the horse 
and for control this was the life cycle of the gastrophilus intestinalis very simple and control for controlling gastrophilus intestinalis parasite this parasitic problem should be controlled by grooming grooming frequent removal of the eggs with special bot combs is known as grooming insecticidal solutions sponged on the body area where bot flies lay their eggs very simple grooming is the first way to control this gastrophilus intestinalis parasitic problem in the horses and this grooming should be done with special bot combs bot combs which are actually insecticidal solutions sponged on the body area where bot flies lay their eggs second way of controlling this gastrophilus intestinalis is enthalmic treatment and this should be this enthalmic should be administered administered after the first frosts have killed all the adult flies normal enthalmics are not effective in this case ivermectins should be used and if ivermectins are not available then organophosphate agent must be used but remember that this organophosphate agent should not be used in those horses which are ill for other reasons or which are having liver problems so mind it please remind it please keep this thing in mind that those horses which are suffering from liver disease which are suffering from any other illness which have less immunity they should not be treated with organophosphates so this was about the control of gastrophilus intestinalis and little bit about fasciola hepatica and treatment of fasciola hepatica as i have explained that uh, oxyclozenide should be used when we see the weight loss lethargic condition increased appetite and poor performance we should go for oxyclozenide and when the season is july to september and adult flies they are annoying the horses and if orange or yellow colored eggs are present on the shoulder area on the lower abdomen area on the leg area then uh, and and there is decreased performance lethar lethargic conditions then we should go for the treatment of the ivermectins or organophosphates and grooming should be done so thank you very much inshallah we will come with next video with next disease of the animals inshallah aziz اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم